Hi, and welcome to this short video of the Traherne Digital Collator. In this video, we're going to look at the downloads and a little bit about how to use the program. You can find a link to the download page in the description below. When you go to this page, you'll want to pick either your Windows or your Mac download. When you download the program, it's actually going to open up a smaller program that will open up a window in a web browser to the Traherne Digital Collator. It's also good to note that this is to version 2.0 or 2.05 for if you're on Mac. This uh, version has been updated and is more stable than the version one before it, though you can use that if you already have that. Now, if you're on the Mac, Sometimes what happens is it, that since this is an unverified developer, it won't open on the Mac. You'll have to go into your system pref preferences and look for the general tab and then look for the section that says, Traherne Digital Collator wanted to open. Do you want to trust it any, anyways? Go ahead and say yes. When you open the program, this is what we have. We have two sides here. One is a base side, uh, and then the other side is the comparison text side. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna to wanna to prep two different things. You're gonna to wanna to prep your base um, text, and then you're gonna to wanna to prep your collation text. And that's what I'm doing here. So I have a file of images, but I have the Evo, which is actually my base text. Now the Traherne Digital Collator does not take PDF. So what I have to do is take that PDF and turn each of those pages into a JPEG um, in order to make the images uh, match in the comparison block so that way this works easier. Doing this prep ahead of time um, isn't totally necessary, but I do it because it just makes it easier for me as I'm going through some of the larger sets, especially for those of you who might be using this um, for collations, which is, you know, you have a hundred or plus images. Uh, I highly suggest sort of prepping these. So what I do is, and what I'm showing here is that I've started, um, my collation with the same page that I'm starting the JPEG with, and I'm going to take those files, um, and I'm going to get the PDF into a JPEG. So that way I can ingest them as my base tech text. Now, the easiest way to do that is to use Adobe, um, which is what I'm going to do here. Um, I'm trying to use Preview in Mac, but there's really not, it doesn't allow you to save an individual PDF of multiple pages into multiple JPEGs. It saves them into one JPEG um, of just the first page, even if you highlight them all. So the solution that I have to go through here is that I need to use Adobe, um, which is what I'm going to do in a second. So now I'm going to open this in Adobe. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to export this so that way I can export every single PDF page as a JPEG. So that's what I'm going to do now. You'll see once that I save this, it'll start processing each PDF so that's how you know you're getting all the files. And there you go. So now I'm ready. And now I have my base text, uh, which is going to be the Evo. And I'm going to have my comparison text, um, which is or the images from Philosophical Fancies that uh, Liza has photographed for all of us. So when you're in the collator, you're going to want to set your base text. So you're going to click that base text button. 
and you're going to go to your file and then highlight all of the files that you want and then import them. Um, now you won't see anything right away. It'll take a little bit, especially if you have multiple files. Um, so go ahead and now load your comparison text. And this is going to be the images. So we're going to load those in. And you can see in the meantime, um, the EVA base is already set up. And so now the images are going to take a little bit. Take it a little bit. While we're waiting for those, there they are. Um, and now that they're in here, you have uh, your comparisons which you can set up. Now, a lot of what you could do is just from this screen, some people really like to kind of just go line by line. Um, so if you want to just use the sort of ruler here and go line by line, you can do that. You can also set if your images are, um, if, if they have kind of a curve to them, you can set the curve. Um, but if you have a flat page, that works best. So to start your collation in your base text here, which is what I'm doing on the left, you're going to highlight the so section of text you wanted to analyze. And once you do that, you're going to hit compare. And then what it's going to do is it's going to um, use an algorithm to basically map onto that other image. And it takes a little bit. So that's what it's processing now. And once it does that, you can see it has sort of found what it thinks is the section that you have highlighted. And now once you've done that, you have multiple options. You can look at the original photograph. Um, you can look at sort of the cropped image, which is what it's doing now. You can um, look at the overlay or you can look at the base text. So here's the overlay and you see it's overlaying the base text on top of the image. And so this is really useful. You can see sometimes um, if they're kind of big things uh, that are different. Now on the left side where we can get really interesting um, is hit the comparison here. Uh, and the difference, this different section on the base side will give us highlights, uh, a, a blue image for anything that sees a sort of out of character or moved. Um, and then it, you can match up better to kind of see hidden things. So things are smaller, like semicolons, co commas. Uh, so that can be really useful. Sometimes though, it'll notice that it'll highlight things that are different, but that's just because it's seen on a different pace or, or a different place, right? Um, so it's like a 3D image. You see, it kind of looks like if you had 3D glasses on. Um, that so this could be useful. But you notice that little blue down there for the for the date, right? It's different, so you can see right away. Now, once we've m done that, we want to move on to another image. Um, you can see at the top here, we can go through our text. Now it will try to match the image. So you see, I have a double page here. Um, and then I only have in the images for my comparison text, the single page image. So how do I do that? Well, you could just highlight in your base, um, the text it is, or you can kind of move around and match them up yourself. But what I'm doing here is I want to look at this text here on the left. So I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to hit compare and now I'm going to wait. and it'll take a bit, but there he goes. And so now it's crop image um, and it has found what it thinks matches that. Even though there were two pages, right? Um, it only focused on that one that we selected. So now that I've hit the difference, uh, I can see almost all of it is matched up. There's some movement just in the difference um, of how it's laying over the image. And now I'm just kind of moving on per image per page and going through uh, and going through it. So now I'm going to highlight the next section and then it'll do that. And moving between the, the comparison text um, 
can be slow or fast. That's depending on to you. That's that speed there. That speed doesn't actually speed up the time it takes to compare the two texts. Um, so it's more for going through the actual images. But here we go. So we have the uh, text again. It's found a section, uh, and now I can look at the the differences. Now, before we end here, I just want to mention one last thing, which is incredibly useful. Um, and I mentioned a little bit earlier, but there is the reference line toggle. Um, and if you hit click this, what you'll get is a reference line, which you can move um, up and down. You can see I'm trying to use my, uh, I'm trying to use my arrow keys, but <laughs> you're, ju you're just gonna click um, with your mouse kind of line for line in the text. So you can see me here trying to figure it out. And I'm gonna get it. See, I'm trying to move it, nope. There you go, but all you need to do is click in the text. Um, so if you have two images that are really matched up pretty well, you can use the reference line toggle to kind of go through. So if you're not trusting what you're seeing or you feel like you wanna be even more careful this is what I do is I click on that reference line toggle and then I kind of go through line by line to, to do like a double check for myself. Um, and sometimes the differences uh, comparison doesn't really work or kind of if it's really uh, not matched up, it's not very useful. So I'll just use the reference line toggle to go through that Evo page and the image um, and then move on to try another page later. So these are just options you have. Um, so even if the the fancy sort of overlay or comparisons and differences doesn't really work for you, or your data your set your data set, um, you can still use this to import um, your mass base and comparison text, and then use the reference line toggle to kind of go through page by by page.